Good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and we will be discussing about the uh, the marriage line or the relationships line relationship lines we'll be discussing general points in this video and we'll st uh, first start with the uh, lines that are found here of course the horizontal lines uh, indicate towards relationships but further how can we read this line i'll be trying to uh, make you or explain you that now first of all the longevity of the line is not proportional to the length of a relationship the longer the line is the stronger the relationship and in a good way it's good so the minute you see you mark this marriage line suppose someone's hand you see the marriage line like this then mark it starting zero here okay uh, and and you can mark it say 30 here okay now uh, now this is just a just an example okay because when you horizontally mark it and then you start dividing it into small parts that is two years or four years then you can specifically get to know at what time an event occurred for example in this case you can see a, a circle here which indicates towards some problem in the relationship okay now this approximately comes two years right so we can say after two years of marriage the person had some kind of a trouble so because uh, what i found out is that uh, you know the timing on this line or the horizontal or the relationship lines is from left to right so if this bubble would have come here then that means that during the old age there was some problems in the relationships so that's how you can further divide this line horizontally into small parts and further uh, get to know as to what uh, at what time exactly after the marriage the uh, there was a problem in the relationship so same way if you see a dropping line here we understand that uh, you know the, it, it's actually an equal it's equal to a folk marking and of course we can see that it's coming earlier in life and probably so the earlier part had some problem but after that the line is improving so the things improve that's why at times we say that when it is at the end okay so this folk starting has to be seen if it is coming from here then even earlier in the marriage only there were a lot of disturbances finally getting a lot of problems and leading to a, a kind of a separated lives something like that also remember that the uh, that small lines okay small vertical lines not very dark thin lines can also indicate towards obstacles in marriage can also indicate towards some kind of a health issue to the person okay so this line again you can time it as to when it came and because it is cutting the line it's uh, it's not a good sign whereas we understand that the lines which which start joint with the uh, marriage line are referred to as your child lines if they are thicker then it's a male child if they are thinner and slantish then it's more of a female child again an important point to be made here is that that these lines that is the child lines are not very accurate they have to be seen on a woman's palm and uh, uh, yes they are accurate in the sense if it is a thin line you know that there is a female child if it's a thick line then you know that it's a male child if no lines are present it does not mean that the person will not have child it's not true okay only the presence at times indicate towards what can be the child something like that okay now further uh, another important point which I wanted to make is that you know the marriage line actually I told that we have to divide from mercury to heart line we have to divide this area into half and the middle part is taken in 25 years but this is true only in India in other countries this will differ for example if you, if I'm doing the same reading and maybe uh, someone is born in America or something like that then this would probably become 30 okay so that's why you have to keep changing the definition from place because uh, yes these lines uh, do have a uh, relationship that way also now further go going ahead uh, if you're looking for uh, you know more marriage indications then we have to come to the heart line now the heart line we understand that if it is nice curve way then it's uh, it, it indicates towards a warm personality or person who is really warm caring giving and things like that the minute it starts going towards jupiter we understand that this person will be more loyal in, in the relationship and then when this happens when the heart line starts going towards jupiter we'll have a, only a single line here indication uh, which indicates towards a single relationship long lasting relationship and that is marriage now again the minute you see a split coming in okay this is at times an indication of true love uh, and it, it indicates that the person has become kind of 
different and changed his heart, changed heart wise and that's why it's at times an indication of true love and also can indicate towards love marriage now another uh, few, uh, important point is when we see two lines joining into one line okay there is a lot of confusion as to what it means and things like that now we have to contra check it now for example two lines join into one line okay then it means delayed marriage okay it it will be delayed and it will take time okay so you have to be patient whenever you see two lines joining into one line but it will be a very successful marriage so you know uh, it's something like these people will be separated distance wise or uh, there will be some kind of uh, obstacle always and but gradually and finally it will merge into a, uh, a successful marriage further to check it if the fate line okay if the fate line goes and joins into your heart line okay again when the fate line is joining into the heart line it's an indication of a successful marriage and also after a bit of delay so if you con if you check both the markings and it's an accurate uh, prediction that the marriage would be late and would be delayed now these lines are not a very sure sign of uh, the timing of the marriage but yes they can also give a rough estimate okay so hopefully you got uh, about the delayed marriage part and clearly understood that uh, part now if the mount of saturn you have to also check the mount of saturn because mount of saturn always delays marriage so the minute you see that the mount of saturn is ele elevated you have to understand and uh, get uh, you know that this person will marry late and then the later uh, the relationship lines which are coming on the top of the palm are probably a more accurate indicator of marriage so the saturn delays marriage jupiter advances marriage you see mount of jupiter strong marriage can be early you see mount of mercury to be strong marriage can be early you see jupiter and saturn both are strong then we it's difficult to predict so something like that okay this will help you you know giving more clearer uh, insights about the person now further uh, if you see a line coming in and joining your sun line either from the left or the right side whichever way you want to see it it will also indicate the presence of a good influence which improves your status or which improves your fame so again the lines coming and joining this way will will be an indication of uh, 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 can be an indicator of a relationship also they can indicate towards legacies or inherited money again parallel lines to the sun lines also can indicate towards a strong and a good relationship further if we see a line coming in and like let us uh, see this example what's happening one first line is coming from luna it's going parallel and it's just present it's never joining so this person will come into the person's life okay this is an influence line okay the minute we see the influence line here it's going and it's becoming parallel to the fate line it's not joining that means marriage will not take place now the second person has come now the second person has come and has cut across the fate line making the fate line or cutting the fate line so this influence is not a good one influence number two is not a good one it has caused a problem the influence line number three now the third person has come and joined with the fate line so that means it was a successful influence contra check it here here also you will find three lines okay obviously the first line will be uh, going downwards the second line will be ending into a fork and the third one a straight and a good one so contra check it here Further, we can also cross-check it from this point. Now, for example, a, 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 a marriage line comes out and joins your sun line, also your heart line. This becomes your common point. It's a very good indication of marriage and a successful one because it not only it joins the heart line, it's not cutting it. It joins also the sun line and it's also joined with the influence line. All are very good indicator. The minute it cuts across, it's not a good influence. So when, suppose you see one line cutting across like, like that when second one joining it you understand that the later one is going to be a more successful marriage so that's how you can cross check it cross check it from these lines coming out here from these lines coming out here from these markings here also further horizontally we can also check for further uh, minuteness now also these line will be a good indication of marriage as well Mount of Venus also plays an important role in judging a person's marriage. If it is developed and well marked, then we can expect this person to be sympathetic and also uh, caring nature generally indicates towards a good marriage. 
Jupiter and Venus both are idealistic and they will have, uh, I mean, th there's a high chance that this person will marry and it will be a successful marriage. Not a Jupiterian, but definitely a Venusian. Hopefully you got few more points in this video. Further, we we have many more indicators of marriage lines, but I just wanted to clear few more points in this video, like a cross hair, star hair. Further, how to see them together as a reading, uh, we will be discussing about that. But please remember, take the reading as a whole, not by a single line here. My uh, my basic intention is that you should be accurate and to be accurate you have to see all the points you have to see all the markings and then only come to a conclusion so hopefully you understood few more points in this video check from all the markings check from all the mounts then only say anything conclusive about the hand and about the prediction of marriage Hopefully you understood few more points in this video. I'm Shwetank into Palmistry. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.